The writer of the new Orphan prequel just gave me a big update. Let's talk about it. What's your favorite scary movie? What's up, Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today, we got a massive update on Orphan First Kill, the Orphan prequel, or Esther, as the working title was a long time ago. Before I do that, though, I'm going to need y'all to like this video and subscribe if you're new here. It really helps this page grow, and I would greatly appreciate it as a human being. So, moving into this little update, very short update. Unfortunately, we don't have any, like, super official news or nothing. <laughs> no poster, no trailer, no teaser. Not yet, at least. But, I did get this tweet the other day from someone that calls themselves Giant Baby. So massive shout out to Giant Baby for starting this conversation. Otherwise, I would not have this update. So Giant Baby asks me, Jake, have you heard any news on news updates on Orphan First Kill? To that, I responded, uh, no, <laughs> no, I wish I knew what was going on with this. That's a great question. Uh, I did mention that the director recently changed his Twitter banner to a picture of uh, what we can only assume is Esther from the new film. It looks a little like weird. It's kind of like mildly out of focus. You can't quite tell it's Esther, but it does kind of look like her. And he's not working on, on any other projects with any scary little girls that actually aren't little girls. So that's, <laughs> that's my guess with what the Twitter banner is. I'm assuming that just means something is coming. And I, I even said that I'm going to discuss it in a, in a video sometime soon. But then the writer of the film <laughs> responds to me, David Kagashal. Massive shout out to him, by the way. Ma thank you so much for giving me an update on this. I, I really appreciate it, David. If you're watching this, probably not. He's probably super busy writing screenplays and all that. But he responds to me and says, The movie was in post until November. Then Paramount bought it in December. Soon after that, the leadership at Paramount changed, and the new administration is still playing catch up in terms of organizing their releases. Soon. So that's going to happen with any kind of leadership change at a studio is that you're going to take there's, there's going to be this buffer time where you have to try to figure out like all the releases again. It's all new people working on these projects that were previously started by older people. And that just kind of, you know, that's that's a little scary, obviously, but that has nothing to do with the actual creative process of this movie. It really just has to do with like, when are we going to release this and how are we going to market it? So that I'm not too concerned about. I feel like, especially because there was a leadership change, something had to change. Something obviously had, there was a problem, they had to change it. Hopefully they have better people this time around. That's that's my hope, at least, at Paramount. So hopefully they actually do distribute this thing well and market it correctly. That that's, <laughs> plays a very vital role in how successful a movie does. The, my thing about this, though, is I guess it really doesn't matter how this movie does at the box office, although I want it to succeed, of course. But like, are we gonna get another or are we gonna get an orphan sequel? I don't think so. I, I'm totally fine with an orphan prequel because I think it's interesting to hear uh Lena's backstory. I'm I'm all about that. And I, I hear it's gonna be really crazy and fun. I even had an anonymous source tell me some some pretty interesting things about uh the film recently, especially that all like I know we've been hearing this, but I actually had someone tell me the other day that specifically they were using like forced perspective shots and like Apple, like everyone was standing on apple carts to make it look like uh, uh, Isabel Furman was smaller than she really is. And that that goes this, that says a lot about this new film. Y you know, you could very easily just have CGI, you could dig use digital de-aging to make someone look younger or shorter, theoretically. But they didn't do that for this film. They went Lord of the Rings style and uh, made Isabel Furman a hobbit, basically. <laughs> they did, this, did the same thing that Peter Jackson did with that movie in this orphan prequel film. Weird two movie series to be uh, comparing together, but there you go. <laughs> There's that. So I, I really respect that kind of filmmaking. Practical effects are a million times more harder to do than CGI, even though I think I would argue that CGI takes a little longer to do, theoretically, but um, it's definitely harder to do practical effects just in any capacity. So that massive shout out to them for that and that kind of um, dedication to their work, especially. That's, that's another big reason I am actually very excited for this film because I like I love that or I love Orphan from 2009. It's a great movie, really interesting film and has a great twist at the end of it. It's really fucked up too. And if you know me, you know I like fucked up shit, man. I'm all about that. But 
when I heard they were making an orphan prequel, I was like, that's kind of weird, man. Like, what could they do with that? But the more and more I hear about it, it seems like they put a lot of dedication and work into this film, telling us a story that is necessary. That's a big thing with any kind of continuation. Is it necessary? Does it have some kind of point it's trying to make? Could it change the original, potentially? Which I think this film could. I'm very excited to see what they do with it, but... Who knows when that's coming out? Hopefully later this year. I got my fingers crossed. What do you guys think about the Orphan prequel? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you all again for watching this little tiny update. Nothing crazy yet. I, I know. I'm, I'm becoming impatient with this film too. But we're going to get something soon. As Mr. David, Mr. Kagashal promised us. So we're going to get something soon. Hopefully a teaser and a poster, and then a, which leads to a trailer later on, but who knows what happens. Uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new here. I would once again greatly appreciate that. Also, if you could support me on Patreon for like literally just a, a buck a month and you get to see an extra video, I would gr also great. I would, I would super greatly appreciate that. How about them apples? <laughs> thank, thank you all again for watching. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.